Hi, this is Paul from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the Crazy Fly Sculpt. This is the sculpt behind me. We were able to test the 9 meter kite here in La Ventana. Now, you might recognize the Crazy Fly name from the Crazy Fly boards that a lot of people are familiar with. Not so familiar with the kites. They've done kites before, but they're kind of making a new push with them. This is the sculpt, and it's a low aspect three strut kite, and it's got swept back wingtips. This is a very fast turning kite, has very quick and nimble handling. Some pros on the sculpt, it's very light and responsive, light bar pressure, really quick turning and just, just feels kind of like an extension of you. The handling's very nice. Another, another pro of this kite, the relaunch is very, very easy. It's very easy to get this kite back up off the water. It's also a very stable kite. It just, uh, it just sits up there in the sky, sits back a little from the edge of the window. Some cons on the sculpt, its low end isn't really great. It's very fast turning for a nine, but it's also just doesn't have the, it doesn't generate as much power as most other nines. It feels like a little bit of a smaller kite than a nine, both in its handling and in the amount of power that it generates. Another con for the sculpt, its jumping and its upwind ability are, are only average. They're not great on the sculpt. Okay, so here's the control system that the Crazy Fly Sculpt uses. It's a really nice control system as far as the bar itself. It's an all carbon bar. It's very light feeling in your hands and that helps contribute to the very light, crisp feeling of the handling of the kite. Just very light, very stiff feeling in your hands. It features a push away quick release, a below the bar leash attachment, below the bar swivel, simple above the bar adjustment cleat, and an adjustable stopper. One thing that our testers didn't really like so much about this bar was the safety line. The safety line is this red line right here, and it goes up and follows one of the front lines about halfway up towards the kite. And most of the time, it actually has a little bit of slack and it kind of hangs there. It doesn't look great, and you've got an extra line kind of hanging there. Other than that, it's a great bar, very light feeling in your hands. It's really nice to see an all carbon bar. So that's our brief overview of the Crazy Fly Sculpt. Of our testers here in La Ventana, three out of six of our testers would recommend this kite to a friend. That's just our brief look at this kite. If you want to read more, go to thekiteboarder.com.